On 6 March 2024, Deputy Chief Minister of Meghalaya Preston Tinsong convened a meeting with the Chief Executive Members of the three Autonomous District Councils accompanied by officials from the Urban Affairs and Revenue Departments. The primary agenda of the discussion centered around the enforcement of the Meghalaya Building Bylaws in both urban areas and those falling under the purview of the Autonomous District Councils. Additionally, the gathering also focused on conducting a comprehensive review of these regulations with a willingness to amend them if necessary. <coughs> Where we discuss about two important issues. One issue is relating to the implementation of uh, the building bylaws. I think uh, way back in 2019, we have already uh, notified that the authorized agencies to implement the building bylaws are two. One is MUDA and number two is District Council. District Council will implement the bylaws outside, outside the municipal board and then few areas where we have already indicated like for MUDA even the uh, industrial estate or the, the hotels and then the uh, big institutions, this has to be still done, done by, the, by the MUDA. But the rest outside the Shillong municipal area and then which is under the six schedule, the entire bylaws will be implemented by the, uh, I think by the, uh, by the district council. Then, while discussing, we, we found out few more issues where we need to again revisit the bylaws. And uh, revisiting bylaws means this council wanted to implement it to the entire state. As far as their jurisdiction is concerned, uh, six schedule is concerned, they wanted to implement it irrespective of whether urban or rural. But I personally feel that idea is very good where if bylaws, building bylaws can be uh, applicable to every every building, every citizens in the state, nothing like it. Because the more we apply that, the more the safety will be taken for the uh, entire state here in Megala, especially here you know the earthquake zone is very high where we have to be careful and we have to be very sure that people are constructed their building safely so these this uh, this is the issue where ultimately we decided to have also a committee uh, i have decided to have a committee to, uh, something like a coordination <coughs> committee or consultation committee to be headed by the secretary of urban affairs to study to revisit the bylaws that we have today and also to see whether amendment of bylaws is required or not, that also we have entrusted to this uh, committee which is to be notified uh, very soon. And the members of this committee will be from all the three district councils. They need to be part of this committee, then the officers from uh, urban affairs and then related uh, department like uh, revenue and other department will also be included as, as a member of this committee. That is the point number one. Then number two, we also discuss about the issue of registration. Because now the this council, they have uh, passed the land, land bill and it became act. So we discuss about the registration because right now we, being the state government, we have to follow the Indian Registration Act. And the Indian Registration Act has to be strictly followed. So what happened was, halfway when we follow this Indian Registration Act, we found out that certain hurdles are there. Sometimes when people approach this council to issue land holding uh, certificate or NOC for their maybe for availing loan or for any other purposes, then when they produce that document, such documents, in the respective financial institution, some financial they did not even recognize that documents issued by the discussion. Again, 
with this issue we discuss all the details again we decided to have a separate committee again to again revisit study about the present form of the indian religion act and also to make sure that the three discussion those documents issued by the three discussion should be also honored should be also accepted by any concerned authority including the financial institution so these are the two issues where we discussed uh, this evening